He was a rising star on TikTok, but his videos help police connect this young man to some serious crimes. As Fox News' Brandon Hudson tells us, he's now facing federal charges for armed robberies committed across our area. This is one of the TikTok videos police say they used to track down a suspected serial robber. Police say the guy with the fancy footwork is Chosen Hannah. A federal criminal complaint says those white Nike shoes with red accents match the shoes worn during four armed robberies between December 1st and February 1st. Police paperwork says Hannah held up the 7-Eleven in Commerce Township twice. He's also accused of robbing a marathon gas station in Dearborn and earlier this month, the Old West Tobacco in Novi. You know what's finna occur? In fact, this TikTok was posted by Hannah the same day Police say he committed the first robbery. When you give them back to the, the criminal complaint says an anonymous tip pointed Dearborn police to Hannah's TikTok profile. Investigators say the purple and pink hair was another big clue. Here's the thing: as we're going through the accused robber's TikTok profile, we're seeing that while police say he was committing all these robberies from December to February, he was still posting videos on TikTok and getting thousands of views. In the case of one video, several million. Well, I'm just surprised and shocked because a lot of people out here, are, you know, are really good people, you know, so um, I'm just shocked, honestly. This neighbor lives on the street, which federal documents say authorities did surveillance on Chosen Hannah twice between February 9th and 11th. Then on Wednesday, a warrant led police to find Hannah inside a home on Virgil in Redford. He later admitted to all four crimes. Police were surveilling the street. Did you see any you know, unmarked cars or any police activity out of the ordinary on this street? No, I didn't see anything. I didn't see nothing out the ordinary on the street. Um, it's been pretty quiet. My prayers go out to him and I hope that, you know, he can recover from whatever is making him do that. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.